Hello friends, this video on carbon and its compound part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 3. I wrote the electron dot structure of water molecule just in front of you, right? H2O. I wrote for CO2. And we generally write for other molecules also. But there should be a rule to write this. Correct? There should be a rule to write this. And we may be given uh, to write electron dot structure of any other uh, covalent compounds. How to do that? So let's, let's learn the steps to write that electron dot structure. And that's also called uh, Levi structure, I think. Yeah, that's also called Levi structure. We'll explain that. So the first is write the electronic configuration of all the atoms present in the molecule. For example, I'm talking about water. You write the electronic configuration of hydrogen, oxygen. So I'm talking about carbon dioxide. Write the electronic configuration of carbon, oxygen. That's the first step. Then you have the electronic configuration. That means you have the numbers of electrons in the valence cell. Then you identify the number of electrons needed to attain the noble gas configuration. For example, in hydrogen it has only one, right? So this guy needs one because this guy, I'm talking about the second shell, right? For oxygen it has six. So this guy needs two more. This guy needs one more, right? Why two more? Because the, I'm talking about the second shell that is eight. So if you see the shell it has two, eight, eight, eighteen, eighteen like this. Correct. For hydrogen, if you write the configuration, this becomes one. So that means it needs one more electron. For oxygen, if you write, it becomes two, six. That means it needs two more to get eight. For carbon, if you write, this becomes two, four because the carbon atom number is six, right? So that means it needs four more. Correct? I hope you get this. See, the electronic, uh, the atomic number of hydrogen is one. And the configuration is only one. So, and the normal configuration is we have 2, 8, 18, 18, like this, right? For this uh, valence cell, the number of atoms which can have in valence cell. For hydrogen, this guy is one, only one. And we see the number of electrons we need is two in the valence cell in case of hydrogen to make it noble state. For oxygen, the electronic configuration is 2, 6 because atomic number is 8. So this guy is 6. If you see, if you compare this guy with this shell, it has 8 number of electrons in this shell, right? So we need 2 more electrons to get to this shell. We talk about carbon, it is atomic number is 6. Electronic configuration is 2, 4. I think this we have learned in the past classes. And we'll learn more detail in the next uh, class, class 11, first chapter, I think, yeah. 2, 4. And if you compare this 4 with the 8 atoms that needs to be there in the valence cell, that means I can say that carbon needs 4 electrons. Thus, we get these values. Once we are done with this, we share the electrons between the atoms such way that all the atoms in the molecule gets a normal configuration. And that's how we do. We share the atoms to make sure that everything, hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, whatever we have, uh, the elements we have in this question, they are satisfied. And doing those, please keep in mind that the shared electrons are counted. So you have to count the shared electrons and they're counted in both the atoms sharing it. For example, okay, we'll take some examples, but please note that the shared electron is counted in both the atoms. We'll take my example, we'll uh, form a covalent bond for hydrogen. So if you see hydrogen has atomic number one, right? I'll write here, hydrogen, Atomic number is 1 and electro config is 1 only, right? That means it needs two ele one electron. Why? Because if you see the electronic configuration is 2, 8, 8, 18, 18, like this, right? This we have learned is it's a 2n square form. Uh, we have this uh, KLMN orbit. This, I think this thing you have learned in the past, past classes where. We, we see that stable uh, electrons will have the 2, 8, 8, 18, 18 electrons in the outermost shell, right? This thing we have learned. So, with this, if you compare 1 with this guy, 2, you need that. You know that carbon needs 1 electron to make it happy, right? Hydrogen needs 1 electron. So, if we write the hydrogen uh, 
thing is H2, I am writing for H2, that means we have one hydrogen here and one hydrogen here. Now hydrogen wants to, this guy wants one electron, this guy wants one electron, but nobody is willing to give. So they will share. That means this guy hydrogen feels that he has both the electron and this guy also feels that he has both the electrons. Correct. And thus if you see that, if you count for this hydrogen, there are two electrons because one his own electron, one he borrowed from this guy or one is shared from this guy. If you talk about this guy, it has two electron, one is personal electron and one shared electron. And that's how we write the electronic configuration for hydrogen. Let's take oxygen, right? Oxygen has atomic number as eight, electronic config as two six. So you compare with this guy, two, eight, eight, eighteen, right? So this guy should have eight, should have eight. So deficiency is how much? Two. So that means oxygen needs two electron to attain noble gas config, right? Because everybody wants to become stable in life. And that's why it needs two electron. So we talk about, I'm talking writing the structure for O2. This is my oxygen molecule, this is my oxygen molecule. Oxygen has, let's suppose, six, right? Because it has six here. And this guy, let me write with star. One, two, three, four, five, six. This guy needs two. So this guy will share one with this guy and share one with this guy. Now this guy will feel that it has eight electron. Correct? Six, it had its own. Two, this guy share. This guy is stable now. Now since this guy also shared, this guy also will get access to these two electrons. Correct? Now if you see how many electrons are there in this guy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, his own personal electron and two, this guy share. Now if you see, it has eight electrons each. And that is the electron dot structure. Correct? Generally, we write like this. Uh, you take like this, you write one oxygen, you take one oxygen, you write one like this, right? So this guy has six, two is shared, right? So two is in the shared pool from here, two from here. So there are four in the shared pool, right? And this guy has like this. So it had six, it gave two in the shared pool. This guy had six, it gave two in the shared pool. Or let me draw with a dot so you understand more which atom came from which guy, right? So they are dots here and they all star here. So this guy gave two in the shared pool, this guy gave two in the shared pool, there are four in the shared pool. And if you see oxygen, it will feel that it has eight electrons and this guy will feel that it has eight electrons. Let's write the electronic conviction of nitrogen. So nitrogen I write for N2. Nitrogen if you see atomic number is seven. So electronic configuration is two five. If you compare this guy with 2, 8, uh, the normal gas configuration, that means this guy needs 3 more uh, electrons to get the normal gas. That means I can say that nitrogen needs 3 electrons to get to noble gas configuration. Right? Because everybody wants to become uh, stable in life. So noble gas are stable, so they want to be stable. It needs 2 electrons. That means if you write the nitrogen, it has one, two, three, four, five. Correct? Five electrons. One more nitrogen you write one, two, three, four, five. Since it is need it needs three, it will form one, two, and three. Three bond with this nitrogen. Now this guy will assume that this guy has got eight electrons, five is personal, three is shared. And this guy will also get a feel that this guy got eight electron, five its personal and three share. So if we write the electronic structure like this, so we have a common pool. In common pool, three electrons we got from this guy, and three electrons we got from this guy. Right? So the number of remaining electron here is two, and the number of remaining electrons he got is two. Because it is five, it gets three in the pool, and this guy also gets three in pool. Now if you see this guy has 8, if you see overall 
5 its own 3 from common pool and this guy also if you see it has 8 5 is own and 3 from the pool and that's how we write nitrogen correct thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again